Hey guys, Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be doing um, a video on the 3.5 foot fright in the box animatronic. He runs for $209.99, which of course is $210. And I think for what you are about to see is a really good price. I already know what this guy does, but I, but I just in case I haven't watched the video, so you guys can watch it with me. I'm very excited to say that this guy is in stores, and I'm um, Today and yesterday, Spear Halloween posted two new animatronics. So, um, yesterday, we two, two new animatronics got released, and today, two new ones did, and that was, um, this one down here, which is clowning around, and uh, right now, this one, which is Fright in the Box. So, I'm really excited because, um, Spear might, because there must, there might be big something, so Spear's trying to get their animatronics out of the way, but, um, I can't wait to see what tomorrow's two animatronics are gonna be, but this is really exciting that Spear is posting two animatronics. Now, this one, I think it is really cool, Fright in the Box. He is, um, I don't know, he looks pretty big, but 3.5 foot, like I said, that's about Menacing Molly's size, and Menacing Molly was pretty small, but, um, I, this is definitely something that I will be purchasing. I have a great place for this in my haunt this year. Um, it's definitely going to be this one and some other animatronic that I'm getting this year, but it's I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one. There's only one thing that I do not like about it, and um, that's its appearance. Hold on. Well, anyway, okay, there it goes. I was like, why can't I do the pictures? And um, it was like on... The, the video that I did just a second ago, it had this light up thing on the corner too. I wonder what that means. I think it's just because it has light up eyes, but all of the animatronics have been having that and we have not seen that. I think it's something new, but whatever. Um, so one thing that I really just think is weird and you can see it in here, the inside of the thing, but that shouldn't bother too much. Um, the bow tie, I just think it's a little too big, but on this image, it doesn't really bother me as much. I really wish that um, the whole clown's body popped up and not just its head, but like I said, that doesn't really matter. It's a clown animatronic, and um, it's a jump scare, too. I've been hearing that it's demonic Dahlia and Jack Straw's um, mechanism, so he kind of just lunges at you as well as popping up. He just doesn't, like, pop up straight. He also kind of lurches at you, like, comes out of the box a bit. I couldn't see that, but um, if he does do that, that, I would love this animatronic even more. So I love the fact um, that it's like a jack-in-the-box type animatronic. I love the detail of the box. See, you could just imagine it just sitting here and then it starts to play this creepy music and um, a clown jumps out of it. I really like um, how it just, uh, it's a box warm and then like, yeah, and then it's, it's appearance when the clown jumps out. I really also love the um, clown's outfit, as you could see here, it's like um, one of those optical illusion type pattern, and I really like that, I think it really fits in well with this animatronic. I can kind of see that it could have come out in here and lunged like that a little bit. One thing that I also like about this anim- oh my god, there's a lot of pictures, wow, it is because- oh, you can't see it on this side. Well, there's a little handle on the side of the box that, um, oh, here's a good image of the inside. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I didn't notice that he had, like, lids inside of his eyes. That's pretty cool, too. Extra detail. There's also, like, this, um, thing that cranks up. It actually moves, which I think is a really cool, um, effect that it has on this animatronic. So let's watch the video, and I think it's really gonna be cool. I just really love that video, guys, too, and how you see these dolls right here, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. There's going to be a bunch of crates, and this is going to be the only one that it has this design, in a, and it's going to be, like, in a doll room, like a haunted house type thing, and there's going to be a bunch of dolls. Exactly, this shows exactly how I'm going to have it. It's going to be amazing. I love the creepy music, and I just love everything about this prop. So let's take a look at the description, because this video is kind of short, and I don't want it to be. Okay, Oh my gosh, it already starts off dark. After the toy maker's wife died, 
Nothing made him happy. Making trains and dolls was no... I can't see you guys. Okay, I really don't want to keep messing up, so I'm just going to quickly cycle through this. One day, a man f from the traveling circus visited him and promised to cure all of his pain and uh, cure all of his pain and make him laugh again. If um he uh, if he made him um part if he made him one particular toy, just grab the toy case. The toy maker um agreed. Now now no one has. No one, no one has seen him since, but, say, okay, hold on guys, I'm just trying to quickly read this, say behind the clown's twisted face, they can see the toy maker's eyes, Ew. that's creepy, when, when the fright in the box strikes, that's really cool guys, oh my gosh, Anyways, guys, that's going to do it, um, it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!